Welcome to SHTV. I'm your host, Naomi Manuk. As you can see, I'm outside enjoying maple syrup. Let's take you through a vlog of our wonderful day at Saint Sauveur. So basically, we are so happy because we're going tubing without the elementary kids, but like we're still going with all the secondary students. So, so right now we are checking presents and we're going to leave in about 45 minutes. So right now we are leaving school and we're going to go inside the bus. Yeah. Very beautiful, as you can see. It's very clean. So right now we are on the highway, as you can see. And so far the trip is going pretty well. But in the bus there's a lot of noise and it's normal. Yeah. I'm going to ask a few people how they feel about this trip. James, how do you feel about this trip so far? Garin, how do you feel about this trip so far? I I feel so excited. I am happy. Yeah. Thanks for your great explanation. I feel so great. I feel so excited. And I feel like we're gonna have a great time. We have finally arrived at our destination, Domaine des Pays en Haut. And um, they gave us this tiny like sticker and we have to put it on our zipper so we could go down the slide okay so guys the view is beautiful the mountains are beautiful and right now we're going inside to um, put our bags so it won't get lost yeah so this is the place that we are going to put our bags and we'll probably eat here too yeah there's a lot of um, there's a lot of kids from different schools over here. So we are now in the little house that everyone is going to be at. We are going to put our snow pants on and we're gonna go to Bing. Yeah. So we are finally going for to Bing. Yeah. Okay. I like the view is like I have nothing to say about the view because it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. The ground is very slippery. Very we slippery. have to be careful. And we're getting the tubes now. So right now we're on the chairlift and we're going up to start tubing. I think I'm going to fall. Yeah. And, the, and the view is like beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to do this one. And we're in the line. And we're pretty excited. Yeah. The first one that we tried was so good, but it, like at the beginning it was like scary. Cause, yeah. But like, right now we're going to try the highest one. Let's see. So this time we have to use the stairs and not the chairlift. It's a bit tiring, but it's fine. But um, our goal is to go the highest yeah it's pretty high i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it like it's okay i'm going to, I'm going to. yeah okay so right now it's our turn i'm so scared okay we're going to go down in like probably 30 seconds Right now we are in line to get food and we're just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got my food and I'm eating poutine with a drink and it's so good. Okay, so the poutine is very good and the drink too. I'm drinking coke. So 
and I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's so good. We have another option to go upstairs and to go higher. I think this one's better than the cliff chair. Yeah, it's much calmer. How does it? And right now we are going to try another one Woo! and we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to repeat it again. The view is extraordinary, like fabulous. Yeah, look, you could see everyone sliding. Perfect. Okay, we're going down. Three, two, one. It's okay, we can do it. Right now it's 2 19 pm and we're in the mini like house and we're starting to pack to leave and go back to school. So, right now we're entering the bus again to go back to school. We had a lot of fun, as you can see, like there's a lot of noise again. Yeah, so I forgot to talk about the workers in the restaurant. Uh, they were so nice, they were polite, and they were respecting uh, us. Yeah. And the restaurant is very clean. We really liked it. And the food too. We have finally arrived at school, and it's 3.23 p.m. And we had a lot of fun. Okay, so my first race is against the second one. I chose Katya Kazanjan because she's very fast. Kazmajan, Katya Kazmajan. And I think I am gonna win because I'm just faster. So. so, I was right. I did ra win the race, but it was a very close game. Through the power of editing, it is now spring outside, so let's show you a picnic. So right now we are at the park and everyone's here, so we're going to show you the concept of our picnic. So each of us had to choose a color and bring food in that color, so here's what we brought. So my color is green and I brought some guacamole, some matcha shortbread cookies and some water. My color was yellow, so I brought some mangoes, chips, and some sparkling juice. My color was red, so I brought some strawberries, some sour peach rings, and the cups. We are about to start eating. Before we finish everything, we are going to give you guys a little small review. So, Vana here brought some shortbread cookies. Vana, do you want to try them? Mm, um, yeah. Sorry. What would you guys rate this on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably 9. Why? What was missing? I think I put a bit too much chocolate, but it's super good. I love it. I, I don't think it's too much chocolate because I don't really like matcha. Up, Sarin brought some uh, mango. They're really good. Mm. 9 on 10 because we kind of waited a little too long. So it's kind of hot now, but it's still cold. Here's, oh, honey. Oh, Is it good? 10 out of 10? Yes. Yes. So now Sarin is gonna try the strawberries. Mm -hmm. good? Yeah. What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? 10. There is now one thing remaining, but not three. And it is the sour peach rings. I'm gonna open this. But not take one, don't eat it. Take oh. one. Oh, it's good. <laughs> what? Split it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to you too. <laughs> you're not feeling good, but it's like really hard. Mm -hmm. 
but it's fine. It's really good. As long as it's good, it don't matter. I've been eating and we're just gonna play in the park. So my second race is against Ari Barish, he's a sec 2, I chose him because he's the fastest guy in our grade but also because his foot hurts so I think I'm gonna win and his back hurts so yeah let's go I won the race against Ari Barish because his back hurt Tennis is a sport best played outside. For that, we sat down with a tennis coach, Hachik Sarkisian, and asked him five questions. Hi, my name is Hachik. I'm 18 years old. I'm of the class of 22, and uh, I've been playing tennis since I was two years old. Uh, I've been playing seriously since I was eight, and I've been coaching in, uh, since 2022. It's my third year this year. Tennis being an outdoor sport, how does the weather affect the game and the way you play? So it's, it's a big factor of the game. I mean, uh, tennis, uh, the, ball, the tennis ball is very light, so it depends how you, how you play it, if you spin it a lot will go randomly anywhere and in, in professional tennis matches the stadium is quite large but it still affects the, the game so players tend to tend to spin it less or adjust to the game and the surface too I mean uh, there's grass there's clay there's hard court so uh, it really depends of every circumstances uh, for clay let's say the ball is much slower so if it's cold, colder, the ball will uh, react differently to the clay. So there's a lot of factors, also rain. If there's rain, you can't play outside. Please don't, it's very slippery, a hard court tennis. And uh, yeah, that's why there's a couple of tennis courts inside, but indoors, but yeah, tennis is an outdoor game for a reason. It's more fun and kind of the wind makes it more fun. So it's an unpredictable uh, factor and it's a very, that's why I like it, it's very unpredictable. What is, in your opinion, the ideal weather to play tennis in? So I played uh, in Canada, but also in Cuba when I was in vacation. And I have to say, it's very beautiful playing in palm trees, next to palm trees and the weather being good. However, it's very hot and it gets very humid and you get very tired quickly so i would say uh like during may or june early june is the best time to play because it's not that hot it's not august hot and also there's not a lot of wind but also it's sunny so i like a good balance i don't like a lot of wind also so it may vary but i'll say uh during may or june is the perfect time to play
Tennis generally being an outdoor sport, are there things a new player must adjust to when it comes to the weather and environmental conditions? Yeah, it plays a big role. Uh, you're outside, so if you're next to a lake, there, there might be a lot of bugs. I remember one time uh, they were cutting grass next to the uh, park and there was a lot of bugs, so I had to like take a break. Um, the, the, sun, the sun is a big factor too when it's like 12 p.m. and it's, it hits directly on you. It may rain uh, the morning and then like you turn like, two hours later, uh, it's, it's bright, it's, uh, everything's good, so you play. So there's a lot of variations and you, you, you can't control the weather. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to tell when, 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 you can predict, uh, when you can play or not. I mean, I remember uh, we, we looked at the weather one day and it was 100% rain, it's gonna rain, don't play tennis. Okay, the next morning everything's good. So really, really it's unpredictable and it's, it's the fun of it. Do you recommend practicing in those tougher weather conditions as well? I mean, I don't recommend someone to play in those conditions. The, the hard courts are very slippery. It's not like street asphalt. It's less grip here so you can slide more. So even though there's a drop of rain or water, you can slide very easily. The paint is, is special for tennis, so I don't recommend it, however, uh, Serena Williams used to play when she was a kid on, on in the rain when it was like really wet so I mean depends how you want to train if you if you want to train like a champion I mean nothing's nothing's on your ways but if you want to be secure don't don't play under the rain Tennis around the world is played on clay grass and hard courts how does the temperature affect each of these surfaces? Does hot or cold temperature affect the speed? Yes, of course. So uh, there's, as you said, there's three types of courts. The, le the least maintenance required is the uh, hard courts. So you don't, need, you don't need a lot of maintenance. However, when it rains, it's bad for the courts. So you have to squeegee it or let it dry. Uh, when it's uh, on clay, rain is actually good for clay because Clay needs, uh, needs, needs water, so you have to water it a lot. And when it's dry, it dries off. So you need a good mix of dryness and wet, let's say. So, uh, and also in Quebec, we use bl a, a synthetic black clay. However, in France, let's say, they use bricks. So they, they, they make clay out of bricks. And that's the original way to play tennis and to do everything. So uh, there, they, they don't use our type of clay because it's hotter there and it's more adapted to them. Here, you, we, we have harsher conditions, so it's much colder here and uh, summer is shorter. So we use a, a synthetic uh, type of clay to, to, to have less maintenance and adapt to the, to the climate. And grass really, it's very delicate because playing, on, uh, playing tennis on grass is really hard like your, your lawn, so uh, the, the grass on Wimbledon, let's say, is needs very, 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 very big maintenance, let's say. So um, yeah, maintenance in Wimbledon is very hard, so they need constant attention. Uh, like 10, 16 years ago, maybe, they, they created a, a half court of clay, half court of grass, and they cost millions of dollars to create that because it's very hard to hit. You, you, need, you need both surfaces in one artificial place. So it was very hard and it was very costly. So you have to take care of a lot of, of the courts. So uh, asphalt or hard, hard court is the best one if you want less maintenance. race is against a sec 3 it's against Nadi Jimashan I chose her because she was the only person willing to do it and I think I'm gonna win because because she's slow and I'm fast 
Okay, so I won, but it was a pretty hard race. I didn't think she was gonna be that fast. I underestimated her speed. This is one of the notable outdoor places in our school. Let's give you a tour of all the remarkable places around us. If you walk out of the main entrance of the school and you go right here, you see this other school. Um, I don't know the name of this school, but right behind it, there's a super cool park that just got renovated. Yeah. So we're gonna go. Yeah. So basically, the entrance to the park used to be right here. But as you can see, there's fake grass right here. So basically, the door is right over there, all the way over there. So what we do is we jump the fence. So first, we got two children swing. As you can see, the real children are on the adult swing. And none of that is not a child, is on the child swing. Then here, we got more of a child's play place. A little this thing, a little maze. We got a little rock climbing, a slide. Here we got a chilling area. There's a zip line right there, so we're gonna go use it. Here, there are swings, an obstacle course that my cousin's gonna demonstrate. Now, not a SHTV team member is gonna try the zip line. Workout slash monkey bar section. Back there, we got a volleyball net on sand, and it's a really good net, actually. It's also a hammock. Yeah, and there's a hammock. So, yeah. What? So, here we have the school. And then we walk like this. We walk like this, we go to the light. Fast forward to the light. Fast forward to the light. If we continue like this, can we go over We get to go. Normandy, Normandy. Normandy. and uh, Nadig and Emin are going to show you guys that right now. So now we are on our way to Normandy. What's Normandy? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Well, Normandy is a place with uh, a lot of restaurants, shops, and it's a place that uh, students from all grades in our school go and meet up, have some fun time, and create memories together. Oh. So now we are outside of Normandy. And you can see all the malls, shops, restaurants. And uh, we just finished getting some snacks from okay. Valorama. And that's about it for Normandy. And uh, it's a very fun place to hang out with your friends. So make sure to visit at least once. Now we're in the mall of Normandy. We just got some food. Oh. Very good. We had Chinese food. I was still hungry because you know me. So I got a poutine. Park Armenie. Say bye to another gang. Bye. So here's Park Armenie. So when you come in, you have benches. You have a few um, little benches and bad big benches. This is Park Armenie. You see benches and that's it. It's, a, it's pretty cute. It's very aesthetic. It's a very cute place to hang out. Here there's the Greek church. But more, impo more importantly, or more importantly for us, there is the Armenian Community Center. We have right here this house that has been bought by Hamaskain. We have the Gomida statue. This is the Gomida statue. Then here is the church. I don't know if I told you guys already, but this is the Hamaskain house that's been bought that Armenians could rent out. Rent out. Here we have a showing of the inside of the sira. We have where the priests and where the people that work in the church work. We have the church, of course. We have the khachkar. Then we have in the back the garden, ga the daycare playground and the hangout place. And then of course we got the entrance to the gym and to the daycare. Now let's give the roll to not again. Uh, now we're in our school's terrain, and uh, this is this is a place where we can play uh, sports like soccer, baseball. Um, come outside for gym class.
just grab a few of benches to sit down and relax. And it's a very fun time to spend with friends uh, during your uh, recess. Fourth race is against Aline Garabed. She's a sec four. I think I'm gonna win because she eats a lot. So I was right, she ate too much so she couldn't run, which means I won, so I've won all my races until now. As students, we all love to go to the park. That is the topic of this week's SHTV challenge. Hi, I'm Karina Roshkunyan, the host of the SHTV Challenge. Me, personally, I love the outdoors. I mean, the smell of flowers and grass is just very pleasing to me. Let's find out what this week's challenge is. Hi, I'm Sena Jabran, Challenge Master, and this week's challenger has to set the records for the fastest obstacle course in the new park. An obstacle course? Now I would absolutely demolish an obstacle course. I mean, I'm very good. So let's see who the lucky challenger is. Hi, I'm Jane Jumbang and I accept this challenge. It's Sienna's cousin? Well, I'm sorry, but that is special treatment. I deserve to be the challenger doing that right now. But I guess, let's see how she does. Apparently she's better than me. You gotta go on this rope until over there. What's the Here, there are these blocks that you step on, and then there's this whole maze. So I'm gonna try to do it now. This part, it's very scary. Maybe we're supposed to start there, but I don't know. But it's very hard because I'm big, so. Yeah, and then there's this part, so I'm gonna get there. But the point is not to touch the floor. Yeah. Attempt not to touch the floor. Oh my god! Did it. Okay, so now we're gonna do this part. So first you walk on a straight line. I know I usually slide on it. And then you have to go over this or around it. But I'm just gonna skip this whole thing because it's very tiring. This part, there's this part too. Oh! Oh my god. So it's very hard. Oh my god. <laughs> So then there's this thing. Yeah, Someone help her. It's very wiggly. You're gonna go up here. Oh my god. And then this place, I'm very not able to do it. How sunny. It's so sunny outside. It's so sunny. So Such good weather. <laughs> so you're supposed to go down. Such bad weather. It's so hot. So then you're supposed to hold this and then go. To the other to the, side, put your feet up and yeah. yeah, I can't do it. So yeah, that's Wait, that was such that? a fail by Sienna. Look, she'll show you how to do it. Lilith, go. Oh, there she goes. Okay, Lilith. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh. Okay, nice. Lilith. So then this is my one of my second favorite part of the obstacle course is this ball. You could just sit on it. Very relaxing. It's a way to chill. You have to go up this. When you finish that, you're supposed to come right here. After finishing that, you're gonna go. go. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the obstacle. Of course, because it's made for. Come, dude. It's a cheese block. It's made for lazy people like me. So it's just a block you could sit on. So I'm on the block right now, and it just feels great. Like this. And then there's this part that Lilith's on right now, and you just go down, and that's it. This is Lilith Jabran, and she's gonna set the record for this obstacle course. Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> so, step one done. Now we're at this step. What is this? It's like a spider web. Oh, she's going like crazy. Oh, yeah. How many seconds has it been? It's been 15 seconds. Already? Wow! Now, going down this 
super crazy illusion. Her brother right behind her. What? 27 seconds. You got this, girl. Now, she has to get down without touching the floor. She did it. Good job. Oh. Now, this part. 40 seconds. Yes, get it, Lilo. I'm scared of heights. Let's go. Okay. Now she has to get there without touching the floor. Is she gonna be able to do it? Is she? Is she? Is she? Oh, through the loop. Wow. Oh, wow. You're so good. Oh, yeah. One minute. 15 seconds. Yes. Now she's going to go from under because there's someone on the top. Got this, Lilo. Thirty seconds. Let's see if she can be able to finish. It be under two minutes. You have to high five me. Come on, ten. One minute and forty nine seconds. You know what? She actually did way better than I thought. But come on, Mr. How could you let this happen? It's supposed to be me. I'm so much better. <sighs> anyway, join us next week for another SHTV challenge. The race is against Kevork Sarkisian. He's a sec 5. Um, I think he's going to win because... His legs are bigger than mine, so he must be faster. So, I won the race. I think that he really tried hard, but I think his foot hurt a bit, so I won. Thank you for watching SHTV. Over the course of this episode, you saw Sienna race a whole bunch of people. Let's leave you with one last race. Baron Levon and I'm gonna race Sienna. First race is gonna be against Baron Levon. He's a dance teacher, that's why I chose him because dance teachers aren't usually really good at running. So hopefully I win. I think I'm gonna win. But he's a teacher, so he might be faster. I underestimated the speed of this old man. He's not really old, but that's what he said. So I lost, very sadly, but it was worth it. <laughs>